I'm Hot Tim Magoo, and today I'm gonna teach you exactly what you wanna know how to do. Vinny from Minnesota asks, how do you hide from a mountain lion? Well, Vinny, that's an important thing to know. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Come on. When it comes to hiding from a mountain lion, you need to be extra careful. Mountain lions are experts at following you. They can smell you from 15 miles away. They can hear you from 15 miles away, and they can see you from 15 miles away. They have a bloodlust similar to that of a vampire. Come in contact with the mountain lion. You want to steer clear of it. You don't ever stare a mountain lion in the eyes because that's how you challenge a mountain lion. If a mountain lion's already stalking you, it's too late. You need to know the procedures of what to do, not just to hide from the mountain lion, but to escape. Um, I'm going to show you those steps, um, but first, you gotta be real careful. You always keep your calm. If you lose your calm, it's all over because l l the mountain lion smells fear. It smells nervousness. It smells body odor. You cannot expect to be able to escape because a mountain lion is as smart as a koala bear. It's as fast as a weasel. It is as scary as a wallaby. You don't want to be anywhere near a mountain lion who has an appetite. Um, this is a mountain lion defense weapon that I picked up at the mountain lion store. You gotta have one um, on your person anytime that you're out in the open wilderness or in the park where there's probably mountain lions afoot. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do in order to escape. You always gotta keep in mind a location where you're gonna be able to hide from the mountain lion. You can't hide in the trees. You can't hide in the sewer. You can't hide in the sky. You can't hide above ground it's only one thing you're going to be able to do you're going to be able to hide underground mountain lion is basically like the predator from the movies predator predator one predator two predator vs aliens now those movies they depict basically how the mountain lion hunts cover yourself in a layer of earth it's the only way to escape detection of the mountain lion once you have yourself covered in earth you'll be able to uh, relax a little bit and decide what your next move is going to be. So I'm going to show you how to get yourself covered. First thing you want to do is you want to have a good hole to go to or a, a, a nook in the earth. So let me show you what I have here. I'm going to run here. This is where I get. I keep this hole. I keep this spot here for when the mountain lion comes. So what you're going to do, you're going to use your mountain lion tool. You're going to pick at the earth around you. Look, just like, just like what I'm doing here. This is specifically designed to put a fine layer of earth over your whole body. You can use both hands. See this? Just like I'm doing. You gotta cover yourself real nicely. This is gonna remove all the odor and all the infrared heat coming off your body. Okay, if you're out in a muddy area, you rub mud on your body. If you're in a desert wasteland where most mountain lions roam, you gotta use the earth to your fullest advantage. Okay, so the mountain lion's coming. You just had yourself 30 seconds, get a fine layer of earth over you. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna put your mountain lion pick right here, right in front of your eyes, so that the mountain lion won't see your eyes, because you don't want to put a fine layer of dirt over your eyes. You gotta cover your eyes with the mountain lion pick, all right? Then you wait, you gotta wait it out. You gotta be patient. The mountain lion has more patience than an Indian. Now I'm telling you, if you don't cover your eyes, he's going to see those eyes and he's going to smell your eyes. So what you got to do, don't move. Now every time that I've done this, the mountain lion walks right past me every time without noticing me. But in the event that he notices you, you don't move until his face is right here in your face. That's when you got to whack him with your mountain lion hammer. If you don't whack him with your mountain lion hammer, you're, you're a goner. You only have one chance. You have one chance to hit them. If you don't get them, you consider yourself dead. Just start praying right there. Almost every time, he won't see you as long as you have a good, healthy layer of earth covering cover your body. Now, as soon as the mountain lion walks away, when the mountain lion walks away from you after he didn't sense you, you think he's gone for good? No way. Mountain lion is too intelligent. He's sneaking around. He knows you're around the area. You gotta have escape tricks so right around every all throughout the hills 
and any place that I'm gonna go, I always go there beforehand to stash an escape bike. You'll be able to sneak over to them, and you'll be able to escape on your escape bike before the mountain lion gets to you. <coughs> now I keep, I keep one of my escape bikes hidden right here under this pile of wood. A mountain lion can't smell through wood, they'll never be able to smell your escape bike. Mountain bandits, they will never suspect mountain, uh, your dirt bike to be under a pile of wood or dirt. Cover it with dirt, cover it with wood or creosote or it, put it in a big, big sealed Ziploc bag and you'll be able to stash it in the lake. Now, remember, that mountain lion is still cruising around nearby. You want to get this bike started right away and get out of there. Once you got the bike started, you're in pretty good shape because the loud noise that the exhaust pipe makes is uh, a, a deterrent to the mountain lion's choice of direction. Keep in mind, you, whenever you're stashing your dirt bike in your wood pile, look around, make sure there's no mountain lions crouched down in the bushes because you don't want them to know to remember your escape route. Otherwise, they'll stake it out. Now you can underestimate a bear or a walrus. Don't ever underestimate a mountain lion. Once you watch this video enough time to understand the way a mountain lion thinks like I do, you will never have to worry again about having a mountain lion kill you. If any of you out there have any questions regarding something that you don't know how to do, just ask me, How to Magoo. I'll show you how to do it. You can visit my blog site at this address, and you can go to this website, and I ask me a question of something you don't know how to do, and I'll teach you how to do it. All you got to do is go there.